In this demonstration, we're going to convert from synchronous long distance to synchronous and uh, stop the groups in the process. Uh, so my synchronous relationship is between uh, INS3 and 64, and my periodic relationship is between INS3 and 65, and EOS 64 and 65. I can illustrate that better on the um, CLI here. We do show our copy, and we can see that um, this is INS3, and it is connected to uh, 64 and 65 and if we look down here at the group information we'll see that 64 is connected to um, this configuration in sync mode and 65 is connected in periodic mode taking snapshots every five minutes so the first thing I want to do is go to my groups and here's my group and I want to edit the group and turn off periodic so let's say um, enable we're going to disable that click yes it's going to um, uh, just modify that so it shouldn't stop the group completely it should just update it so that our snapshots are going to stop so let's go back to this and we can look at that here and they are empty okay so this should have worked uh, work we'll know here in a second when I go to remove it I'm just gonna take a look here at uh, let's try target volumes and looks like we're looks like it's has stopped because I have NAs in place all right so that's good all right so now we'll jump here and we just have to remove uh, EO 65 from everything. So we go to uh, on INS3, we'll remove it. Uh, we have to go to 64 and remove it there, and then we have to go to 65 and clear everything out. So for this, we'll just do um, remove our copy target, and then clear groups because we're going to clear all the groups out that are related to uh, MKTG EOS 65. Yes. Of course, it's not stopped. It should have been stopped. Mm. I'll tell you what, let's try this. Always in a lab, right? Always make mistakes. Uh, always make mistakes in a lab doing a demo. So we'll go to 65 first. And we will force this. We'll just do um, stop our copy. Stop groups. Clear. So let's go back to INS3. Yeah, so we only we pulled out EOS 65, so we can see that those are down. And EOS 64, which is my sync relationship, is still up and still in sync. So that's great. All right, so going to the periodic system first and pulling it, uh, or clearing it all out, helped. All right, so now I should be able to uh, remove the target. Yeah, remove, that's it, our copy. Target, clear groups, hopefully, and then MKTG EOS, EOS 65. Let's try that. And because these groups are now stopped, it should pull it out. So show our copy. Okay, so now we just have on 64 um, sync mode and 65 is gone, so now we can go back to 64. And you'll see if we do a show our copy, we've still got them all in there, right? And the, these are uh, 65, which is the periodic one is failing because we've pulled it. So now we just gotta do the same thing here and you'll see that here's the 
snapshot one, right? The periodic, periodic one. So here we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to remove our copy target clear groups mktg eos 65. Yes. And that should complete this. Show our copy. And now we just have uh, the synchronous relationship between um, INS3 and 64. And we can see that coming here, uh, well, let me go back to, well, I guess that's fine. We can see that the source system is INS3 and we only have one target and that target is 64. So a little confusing, I know, but it's the quickest, easiest way to get us to where we wanted to go, which was getting rid of synchronous long distance, going back into synchronous. Thanks a lot.